John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power. To become the sons of God, even to them that believe in on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the, <clears throat> and the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory was the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth, John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of the whom I spoke. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace, for the law was given by Moses. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man had seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he had declared him. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent his priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are those? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then, art thou Elijah? And he said, I am not. Art thou the, that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, and it said, The prophet is here. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then? If thou be not the Christ, nor Elijah, neither neither the prophet. John answered them, saying, I baptize with water. But there standeth one among you, whom ye know not. He he is it, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latched I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethamara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptized. The next day John seeked Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. That is he of whom I said, 
after he me cometh a man, which is preferred before me. For he was before me, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water, and John bear record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him, and I knew him not. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized it with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record, this is the Son of God. Again, the next day after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking up upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following, and said unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? He said unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelleth, and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour, one of the two which heard John speak, and followed him was Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cyphus, which is by interpretation a stone. The day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find it Philip, and said unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip finded Natalia and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law. And the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathan said unto him, Can there be any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathal coming to him, and said of him, Behold, an Israelite is he in whom is no guile. Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou, thou shalt see greater things than thee. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open and the angels of God descending and descending upon the Son of Man. John chapter 2 And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto the him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour has not yet come. His mother said unto the servant, Whatsoever he says, 
unto you do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone. After the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three persons each, Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast, and we they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had t- tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants withdrew the water new. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning dot said forth good wine, and when men have well drink drunk, then that which is worse, but thou so has kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this he went down to Carnage, Camperton, he and his mother, and his brother, and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the, and the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen, and sheep, and doves, and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things and make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thy house had eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us? Seeing that thou dost these things, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy his temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture. And the word which was had which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name. When they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of men. For he knew what was in man. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born born when he is old? Can he enter the second time to his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water 
and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born, which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but can not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So it is very, for it, so it is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe? If I tell you of heavenly things, and no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not, it not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And that is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth, Come it to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they were our wrong, wrong in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he carried with him and baptized, and John also was baptized, and, and near to Jerusalem, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized, for John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying, and they came into unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptized, and all men came to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but I but that I am sent before him. He that has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiced greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he had seen and heard, that he testified, and no man received his testimony. He that had received his testimony 
had set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God had sent speaketh the words of God. For God gave it not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loved the Son, and had given all things unto his hand. He that believed it on the Son had everlasting life. And he that believed it not the Son shall not be life. <coughs> but the wrath of God abided on him. The Gospel of John chapter 4 When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must and he must go through Samaria. Then cometh he to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, set this on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink, for his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samarians. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou know newest the gift of God, and who is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, that, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou has nothing to draw with, and the well is deep, from whence then has so that living water? Sir, so has nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then has so that living water? are so greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of those waters shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him, a well of water springing up to everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, So has well that I have no husband, for so has had five husbands, and he whom so has now has is not thy husband. In that said so truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our, fa our fathers, Worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when he shall neither in his mountain nor yet at Jerusalem 
Worship the Father, ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, what seekest thou, or why talkest thou with me? The woman then left her water pot, water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, Come see a man which told me all things that ever, ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the mean, in the mean, while his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Has any man brought him aught to eat? Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then come at harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the field, for they are white already to harvest. And he that re reaped received wages, and guarded fruit unto life eternal that both he that sow it and he that reap it may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true. One soweth and another is reap. I said you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labor, and ye are entered into their labor. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him. For the saying of the woman, which testified, he told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed then, and went into Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet had no honor in his own country. Then. Then when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem, at the feast, for they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into, Gal into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, 
Come down ere my child die. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. And he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour when he beget to men. And they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believeth, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did. When he was come out of Judea into Galilee. After there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. There, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Beth. Having five porches, in these lay a great multitude of important folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews, he therefore, said unto him, that was cured. It is a Sabbath day. It is not awful to thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked I him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And thee, he that was healed with not who it was. For Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things soever he doeth, 
These also do it though the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and shoot him all things that himself do it. And he will show him greatly great greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raised up the dead and quickened them, even so the Son quickened whom he will. For the Father judged no man, but had committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which had sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, had everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father had life in himself, so had he given to the Son to have life in himself, <clears throat> and had given him authority to execute judgment. Also, because he is the Son of Man, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which had sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is no another that bear witness of me. And I know that the witness which is the witness of me is true. He sent unto him, he sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. He was for a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father had given me to finish. And the same works that I do bear witness of me. And the Father has sent me. And the Father himself, which has sent me, had borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent him, ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for it in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are which testify of me, and ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in my own name, his own name, him he will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust, for had ye believed Moses, ye would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writing, sh how shall he believe my words? Chapter 
chapter 6. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them, that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was not. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company, Come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which has five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down. In number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise, of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto the disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, but nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together, and to fill twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained it over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen that miracle that Jesus did, said, this is a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, his disciples went down into, onto the sea and entered into a ship, and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now it, and it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed above five and twenty or thirty or long, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat here there, save that one wherewith unto his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. How that there came other boats from Tiberias, nigh unto the place where they eat bread. After that the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? 
Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves that were filled. Labor not for the meat which perished, but for that meat which endured unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him that had God the seal, Father seal. Then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he had sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign shows thou then, that we may see? and believe thee, what those the work our fathers did eat manna in the desert, that is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven, for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and gave it light unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us the, this bread. And Jesus said unto him, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father gave me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which had sent me, that of all which he had given me I should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent him, that every one which seeth the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up on the last day. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, it is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know, how is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that had heard and had learned of the Father, come it unto me. Not that any man had seen the Father, save he which is of God. He had seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me had everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto him, Dumb, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. 
for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is in drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the Spirit that quickened the flesh, profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore I said unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Go has the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? A devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. For he is, for he it was that should betray him, being in one of the twelve. Chapter 7 After these things Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacle was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Therefore, I mean, depart hence, and go to, into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that those doeth. For there is no man that doeth thy thing in secret. And he himself seeketh to be known openly. If those do these things, to himself, thyself, to the world. For neither did this, did this his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto his son, My time is not yet come, but your time is already ready, always is already ready. Therefore it cannot hate of you, but me it had it because I, I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then when he also up into the feet, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews saw him at the feast, and said, Where is he? And there was much murmur among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man, and others said, Nay, but he deceiveth the people. How that no man spoke 
openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now, about the midst of the feast, Jesus said up unto the temple and taught. The Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters? Having never learned, Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak to myself. He that speaketh of himself keepeth his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him. The saying is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, So has a devil who goeth about to kill thee? Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye are the Sabbath day circumcised a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken. And ye angry at me, because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, It is not this he, it is not this he whom they seek to kill. But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do, do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? How about we know this man when he is? But when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. Then cried Jesus in the temple, as he sought, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye not know, but I know him. For I am from him, and he sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man had done? The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him. And the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither you cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles? What manner of thing is this that he said, He shall seek me, and shall not find me? Where I am, thither you cannot come? In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spoke he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the peoples, therefore, 
when they heard the saying said, Of a truth, this is the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? Had not the scripture said that Christ come of the seeds of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him, and some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spoke like this man. And then answered them, The Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But still people who know not the law are cursed. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to Jesus by night, being one of them, doth our law judge any man before it hear him, and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto the him, Art thou of Galilee, search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. And every man went unto his own house.
is the Lamb who was and is and is to come.
There was only one man who loved God, Noah. Noah loved and worshipped God. He believed in God even though nobody else did. Noah was shocked at what he heard, but he remained calm. But God, these are your people. Have mercy on them. No, Noah. It's true. 